All right, guys, so today um, we talked about how to tie knots in class, and we got through a couple of them, so I want you guys to be able to practice these. Some of you guys need a little more help. Some of you guys got it down, but remember, practice is going to make this work a lot better uh, to prepare you for your test. So if we start out with our first knot, we have our overhand knot. I remember it's a stopper knot, and stopper knots, we said, are the ones that have uh, we, we'll tie a knot, and it'll keep it from going through an eye. So if I have a simple stopper knot, and we look, I can't get it through the hole on my fingers, okay? So a real easy way to do this is take our rope, we start out. Some of you guys like holding the rope in your hands. Some of you guys like setting it flat on the table. So I'll show both ways. But basically, you start out, you're going to take it, and you're going to turn it into a loop, okay? You'll have one side on the top, one side on the bottom. And then if you take the top side, you go around the back and slide it through the eye that you made and then cinch down. You should have something like this. Okay, now we'll go ahead and undo that again. And if you do it in the air, literally just take it, turn it, take one end, put it through the hole and cinch down. All right. So again, that is our overhand knot. Some good practice if you if you're kind of struggling with this is to see how many you can do on one. Try one, then do another, do another. And if you really want to practice measurements, see if you can get them spaced out evenly apart. Okay, this is a skill that uh, if you've ever seen the the old gym movies when they're climbing uh, the rope, they have the knots spaced out so far apart so that you can get some grip on it okay so on this rope that I did I ended up with five knots all the way across five overhand knots very very simple knot to do okay so we'll go ahead and undo this and remember every time we go to do another knot I want you guys to always 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 take it back down to a basic rope um, some people like to leave the knots on there. It just gets in the way for later. Try to straighten your knot, your rope back out. Okay, there we go. So figure eight knot, you're going to come over the top like so. You'll pinch here. With a figure eight knot, you're going to have the long side over the top, the short side underneath. And with that short side, you're gonna come around your long side and then come up around the back side like you're gonna do an overhand. And you should end up with something like this, okay? So there's from the top down, you notice that it looks like the number eight. And as you pull, you'll cinch down and you get a nice stopper knot. So I'll do it to this camera here in the front. Okay, Start. I'll try to do this backwards for you. Start like this. You're going to come around the side. You'll go through that back loop. And then when you do it, you'll have what looks like the number eight. And then you'll cinch down. Okay. I know it really, really looks like a uh, overhand knot, but just to show you the difference on an overhand knot, an overhand knot is just like that so there's the difference okay so do a figure eight same thing with a figure eight as we did with the overhand we want to practice as many times as we can do like three or four these are a little bit bigger so you might need a little more slack but we'll do one get yourself some slack there you go and this really really helps when you're when you're doing this rope is if you get used to pinching the stuff the like where the knots before they before they tighten you're going to want to pinch them kind of like right there okay so you come around go up through your hole you'll see we have the eight and you cinch down okay 
So, now remember this one we talked about in class. This one is the love knot. So remember, this is the one I told you guys to give to people on their uh, on Valentine's Day if you're running running a little low on funds. You give your give your girlfriend or your boyfriend a, a love knot. And remember, they should love that. So, figure eight. I'm moving on to the heaving line. Now, this is the one that you guys always like. This one's the the one we add to make weight to the rope. Remember, if I'm on a ship and I'm trying to throw the rope to you, I need to make sure that it's got some weight to get to you. And also, it acts as a stopper knot to where I can be able to hold on to it and grab it pretty easily, okay? So for starters, we're going to take our rope and we're going to have the long side be on the left. I'm trying to mirror it for you guys, but then we're going to take the short side and we're going to wrap around like so. So if you look, we're going to have here and we're going to wrap around. And then after I wrap around, I'm going to go underneath and wrap again. And again, do like three or four wraps. Okay. And then I'm going to take that end of my rope. I'm going to slide it through my eye at the top. Okay. Hold my thumb there like so. There we go. Then I'm going to take my long end and I'm going to pull down, making sure that that piece still stays in there. Okay. And then cinching down to where I have something like this. Now it is a stopper knot, right? I can make an eyelet with my thumb and my finger. You'll see that it's not coming out. And it's tied to where when I swing it, I have a little bit of weight to go with it. All right. We'll go ahead and do that again. What's nice about this rope, uh, this knot, is that you can do it on the other end. You don't have to untie your other one right away. I'm trying to get into real quick repetitive practice. So go ahead and make a, a bow or a, an eye like that. You're going to take this side, wrap around where your fingers just were, and then wrap couple times, slide it through the hole, and then pull down and cinch down. Alrighty. It's a very simple knot. Uh, this one is probably the first one that's going to give you some troubles. One of the reasons why I wanted to make these videos uh, so you guys can get some practice and we'll keep looking at them year after year. They'll be good to go. So if you ever are like, oh man, Mr. Mesa taught me how to tie this and I don't remember you're out in the field working on something or you're out um, you know, trying to tie something down and you don't have any ratchet straps or whatever, these are some ways you can remember. You can always pull this up on YouTube and you'll be good to go, okay? So after the heaving line knot, um, I recommend just practicing over and over. This is about where we get through day one. I'll post another video uh, tomorrow about day two knots. Um, but yeah, keep practicing. Um, and in the comments, go ahead and tell me um, how many... Uh, knots you've mastered on day one so if you got all three of these day one knots awesome good job if you're still struggling a little bit let me know uh remember um these are not the easiest thing in the world um there's millions of different knots we can learn these are just the basic ones that i wanted to do for class but these are the ones we're going to start for day one okay so if you don't get these right away remember we're going to practice over and over and over again so you'll have time to get them okay take care